So welcome to this course on Web Intelligence and Big Data. In this first lecture, I'll introduce you to the topic as well as outline the course itself and discuss some of the logistics and evaluation. When talking about intelligence, one can't help but recall Alan Turing and his famous thought experiment introduced way back in 1950 to test if a computer was actually intelligent. Turing's original test is based on a popular party game where a human judge is able to converse using typewritten text only between two people, one a man and one a woman, and needs to judge based on the conversation alone which is a man and which is a woman. Turing's variation of this imitation game was to replace one of the participants by a machine and now the judge needs to determine based on the conversations alone who is human and who is a machine. Turing claimed that if a machine could successfully fool a human judge into believing that it was not a machine and actually human, then that machine should be considered to be intelligent. An interesting variation of the Turing test is where the judge is now a machine and needs to figure out which of the parties it's talking to is a human and which is another machine. Now, do you think you might have seen or experienced such a reverse Turing test yourselves? Think about the captures which all of us encounter on various web pages. They ask us to type in a set of letters looking at disfigured versions of those words, a task which machines find quite difficult. So this is an example where the machine is trying to figure out whether we are actually human. And so it's the reverse Turing test in action every day. But there is more. As we shall soon see in this course, machines inside the web can pretty easily figure out, based on the conversations that we have with each other, whether we are male or female, the products we like and dislike, whether we are shopping or just surfing, whether we are rich or poor, or even scary things like our ethnicity. The surprising thing is that this is happening all the time on the web, as we shall see in our course. So is the web becoming intelligent?